Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to do a quick video on how to make your fire stick faster and who doesn't want it faster. Obviously lagging's a pain. We're not talking about buffering as such, but this may help buffering um, going forward. But it's all about the slow fire stick, the freezing up, the way it runs, moves, especially the older versions of fire stick. And it can even happen on the newer versions of fire sticks. Also, if you would like me to give away a fire stick, a fire stick 4K Max, let me know in the comments. And wait till the end of the video and I'm going to tell you how you can win one. So... First things first, hit that subscribe button. Um, if you're new here, we do everything streaming related. And if you're a regular watcher, do help me out with a thumbs up and hit that share button as well. So, first of all, to speed up your Fire Stick, obviously we have lots of apps on here and you open up lots of apps all the time. But with a Fire Stick, you can't turn off a Fire Stick without pulling out the plug. Yes, you can put it in sleep mode, but that doesn't shut down the apps. Yes, you can restart it. It may restart some apps, but majority of apps continue to run in the background. Okay, and we're not talking about cash or anything like that. We're just generally talking about the apps running themselves. And we can shut them down. So go to your magnifying glass. In here, type in background. B-A-C. If you are in background, and what you will see you won't have to write all the word, is an app underneath called Background Apps and Process List. Click that, click it again, and get it installed, okay? This is made for your Fire TV, it's made to so we can see what apps are running in the background. Okay, once it's downloaded, get it open, and what you will see is it will load up every app you've got open, okay? We don't want to open it on boot. We ignore all that. Just go back. Right. Here it is. And I haven't shut any apps on this for ages. As you see, I've just reinstalled this program. And look how many apps I've got open in the background. 34, it says at the top there. When you do this, guys, let me know on the video, in the comments, how many apps you have open in the background. 34 is mental. Look at all of these open, using up processing power on your Fire Stick in the background. 34. It's probably one of the highest I've ever had. You can obviously close multiple or close all apps, okay? You select which one you want to do. Close all apps is the simplest way, but what you have to do is click four stop on each one. So it takes you into the settings straight in there so you can click four stop on each individual one to shut them down. Yes, you could go into settings manually, of course you could, but you wouldn't know which ones you had open. So what you do, you click the select button on four stop so you click four stop and then you push back and it takes you to the next one. Four stop, then the back arrow, okay? And you do it for all of them. Obviously this is going to take me a while because we've got a lot open. But I'm going to go through as many as one. If there's any you don't want to do it on, just push the back arrow and not four stop. So if, say you wanted to leave a VPN running because you've got it connected, just push the back arrow and it moves to the next one, okay? I'm going to go through these quickly. We've got the next step coming as well. Okay. I skipped a few there. Obviously, I edited it out in the video. We've got that, and we've only got one app open now, instead of 34. That's absolutely mental. Absolutely mental amount of apps open. Okay? Absolutely mental amount of apps open. So, that step will obviously help speed up your Fire Stick. There's a few other things it's really useful to do to help stop that little lagging, that running around, that too much going on. Um, go to your settings. Go to um, applications. And just hover over manage installed applications. Here, you've got 741 megabytes of storage, I have, or 5.34 gigabytes. It's very important to make sure you have about a gigabyte spare. Um, this is more towards any form of buffering or anything like that because when you're streaming something you have to download part of that film to watch it then it deletes as you go. So if you've got no storage left, if you've got no storage left you're not going to have any space to download that program to watch. So it will buffer because you can't download it anywhere. So if you want to uninstall something just go and select the app you want to uninstall. doesn't really matter what it is. Um, what shall I uninstall today? Okay, let me uninstall this clock, and you just click uninstall, okay? Or, to make it quicker, there's a new quick button now. Um, say this, you can just push um, the play button, and it will tell you how much space you're getting, and you can uninstall it. 
Brilliant. Next up, back in your menu, all the way across to settings, go to preferences. Oh, go to preferences. Featured content. It's very important to have these turned off as well. This stops videos starting to play. It starts it stops it trying to allow an autoplay for your video or your audio on movies, adverts, or anything like that. Turn these off. Um, this will stop these adverts at the top here, auto-playing. It will stop previews if you're highlighting programs and films. All of that will stop just by turning that off. Sound good? Of course it does. And the last one, this is a personal opinion of mine. Settings, My Fire TV, About, and make sure your Fire Stick is fully updated. There's patches, there's fixes, everything like that which keeps your Fire Stick up to date. If for any reason you shouldn't update your Fire Stick, you will hear it first on this YouTube channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit it, and we will tell you when you shouldn't be updating and when you shouldn't. Currently when I'm making this video, it's very safe to update your Fire Stick, fully updated, get all the updates, all the great new features, get them on your Fire Stick. Brilliant. That's updating for us. Excellent. Before you leave, like I said, do hit that subscribe button, check out the rest of the channel. Um, we've got loads of videos here for your streaming, your movies. We also do stuff about watching boxing, football, all that sort of stuff on the channel. Um, a quick word from one of our partners before I tell you about the next giveaway for a Fire Stick 4K. Linked underneath is IPVanish VPN. If you want a VPN to stop your internet um, provider blocking what websites you access, if you want it to stay safe online, we work closely and are partner with IPVanish VPN, one of the fastest VPNs out there. Um, if you want a VPN, do consider using one of our affiliated links, which is linked underneath for you. We don't have any donations here. We don't do memberships, nothing like that. All we do is get your views, and we love them. But if you did want to help support the channel, and you do need a VPN, or you just want to support the channel, sign up to an IPVanish VPN. You get a VPN. We get a small commission, and that works great for both of us. Brilliant. Right. New Firestick 4K Max giveaway is going to be running over the next few days on TikTok. We've just recently started a TikTok, so linked underneath this video is my TikTok. So get over there and follow me. Um, if you've watched till the end, that is. Get over there and follow me, and we're gonna be doing some Fire Stick giveaways over there over the coming days, okay? Once you've done that, comment under this video, let me know you followed me as well, or if you already follow me, and we will get a giveaway done over there by the end of this week. Um, Fire Stick 4K Maxes, they will be worldwide giveaways, all delivered. All courtesy, no cost to you guys, we get some done on TikTok. We haven't done a giveaway on TikTok yet, so that's why we're doing the next one there. We are spreading out to all platforms. This gives us a lot of security if one gets shut down, like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We've got other places to be, so we can always give you the best tips, the best updates to keep you up to date. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy. Do remember to hit that subscribe button. Drop me your thoughts underneath on that video. I hope it's helped you out. Hopefully it's sped you up, and I'll see you soon.